Hello there. My name is Sidik Salas and you're welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll be looking at the calculation of the CGPA and the GPA respectively. And these tutorials will lead us to the understanding of the GPA sometimes looking better than the CGPA. Or well, like I said, maybe looking better than the CGPA. So stick to the channel as we go through uh, these tutorials one after the other. First of all, we'll be looking at the calculation for the CGP and as we can see it here, we have it here. We will be looking at the calculation for the CGP first, then we come to the GPA, then to the final GPA, and then we'll come to the understanding of both or of the three distinctive uh, assessments. Now as you can see here, we have code we have code. Now if you are to visit your mess web or you are to visit your transcript where you usually check your results, you realize that when you come to code, we have course codes there. So for example, maybe archaeology, that's Arche Arche 101, or math 101, or psych 101, or soci 121, or INFS 101. The course codes are there, okay? So you find codes there, and then you, so we are first of all explaining the terminologies, okay, before we get to the understanding of the calculation. So here we have CCT, and CCT means cumulative credit taken, meaning cumulative, that's the sigma, the total, the sum of the credit hours taken per that semester, okay? And in our next video, we'll be explaining the meaning of the credit hours, okay? You see, every course, ha every course has three um, credit hours. What is the meaning of the three credit hours? We'll be looking at that in our next video. So make sure you stick to the channel, okay? You subscribe, you keep the bell, uh, uh, on notification, okay. We have CCT, uh, CCP, okay. CCP meaning this is cumulative credit taken, okay, and this is cumulative credit passed. So when you are doing the calculation, you need to be careful whether you passed or uh, your credits taken, okay. So here, the cumulative that is the sum, the total of the credit hours passed. If we are to look at this, if we have passed everything here, then it's going to be three times six because there are six courses here and every course has three credit hours. So therefore we're going to have three times six, making it 18. So here we're gonna have 18 credit hours. So the cumulative uh, credit part is 18 and the ones taken is as well 18 if you have to calculate everything here. Now, the CGP, which is what we are coming to look at, okay, and it's the grading system of the University of Ghana and its grade points. So, for example, if you score A, A is 12 uh, grade points. D is 3, B is 9, C plus is 7. As we can see, B is 9, okay? So, this is the grading system. This is the, if, you had to get, if you had to get 12, it's A, B is 9, and it follows in that order, okay? So this is what we have here. The CGP, as we can see, is what we are coming to calculate for. Okay. So after expl now the, the last one, GPT. GPT means grade points taken. Okay. So let's move straight to our CGPA. The CGPA. Let's assume a formula. Or let's give a formula to it. It's the total or the sum of the GPT over the sum of the CCP, not the CCT, the CCP. That's where we have to be looking at every day. What you have passed, the credit hours you've passed. So we're going to have the sum, that is sigma, sigma GPT, sigma GPT over sigma or over C, C, P. 
And this, we can represent this in the following. If we are to take this 12 plus 12, plus 3, plus 9, plus 7.5, plus 9, what are we going to get? We're going to have 52.5. 52.5. That is the total of the GPT if we are to um, sum up everything here. 52.5. And like we said, 8 over the CCP. And the CCP is 18. Right? So what are we going to get uh, from here? 52.5 divided by 8, we're going to have 2.91. Uh, six okay so two two uh, decimal places we're gonna have two point nine two so this will be our CGPA for the semester and let me quickly clarify this CGP, like I said, it's being cumulated throughout your semesters, the eight semesters. What do I mean by eight semesters? If you are reading degree, a degree program, you are spending four years in the University of Ghana, right? The four years, every year has two semesters. So two times four, making it eight. Okay? CGPA cumulates everything, everything from day one to the last semester. Okay, so the first semester we have 2.92. Now, when you are to, we, we are going to the next semester. We are going to a different semester. If we are to calculate that, as we can see, this is first semester. If we are to calculate that and then sum up that with the first semester, it is no more called CGP. And this is where some people get confused, calling GPA CGPA. When we are to get a year, okay, accumulated a uh, year okay of your assessment it is no more CGPA it is GPA and we will come to that so let's put this in place the first okay so we just assume um, a, a different figure and then assume that is the second semester so let's go to that I hope you see the formula we are done with that Okay guys, so now let's move to the second semester. Now as we can see, and if we remember in the first semester, when we were able to sum up all the uh, GPT, when we were able to sum up the GPT, we got 5.2, that's 52.5. And when we divided it by the CCP, which was by then 18, divided 52.5 divided by 18 we got 2.92 if you remember so we keep this as the first semester and then we'll add the second semester to it let me explain this after adding the second semester to the first semester this will give you your gpa for the year not your cgp your cgpa assess everything if you have to look at your transcript your cgpa will assess everything from the one to the last semester which is the eighth semester remember like i said we have eight semesters in four years every year has two okay so two times four is eight it will assess everything from day one from first year from first year to the last year from first sem to second sem without differentiating but when you are calculating you need to differentiate you don't need to follow the uh, sequential order on your transcript okay you need to do it by year so the first sum we know what we have okay there's the figure we had and when we divided by 18 we got 2.92 okay 2.92 now the second sum let's get to the second sum when you first of all you find the gpt first the summation of the gpt okay this one then you add it to this one then you add it to the first summation okay then you come to divide it with the total of the c CCP, that's the credit, uh, cumulative credit passed. Now the CCP, let's talk about that one first, and the CCT. Now, at, at first you took 18 credit hours when we sum up everything here, okay? 
the total was 18 by then first semester but now you've taken another 18 if you have to add this one to it it will be another 18 so 18 plus 18 will give us 36 so here will be 36 here will be 36 okay so when we are divided we are going to divide it by what 36 okay that's the total okay because here we are going to add everything together now when we are to add the second sum okay the second sums summation of gp uh, t is going to be okay we're going to have 70.5 we're going to have 70.5 and this 70.5 remember now we've added everything you're adding everything from first semester. okay so after getting the 70.5 you just make sure you add it so plus the 52.5 okay so plus 52.5 and that will give us this will give us 123 then we divide it by the current um, CCP okay 336 okay and let's see what that will give us and what it will give us is no more CGPA but GPA let's look at what this will give us this will give us 3.4166 so we say to two that's my place we say 3.42 kudos in your second sum you were able to up your game so we have 3.42 as your current gpa so you keep this for the first year we're going to keep this for the first year so <clears throat> At this point, we have gotten our GPA. What we are going to do next is that we are going to assume for the uh, next years, for the second year and the third year, just to calculate for the FGPA. Okay? And this will be in another video. Okay? So, on this note, after calculating everything from the first year and the second year, we know that our current GPA, which will reflect as CGPA in your transcript, okay, it will reflect as the uh, CGPA. But that is what you're going to keep as your GPA for the first year. So our second sum, after doing well, yes, we sat up and then we did well, we got 3.42. Kudos to us. We did well because of the second semester. Anyways, so stick with me. Let's move in a different video. Make sure you are you have subscribed to the channel and then your bell, uh, your notification bell is checked so that you get the video as soon as it's uploaded. Okay. Thank you very much for being with me once again. My name is Sadiq Salis, and this is my channel where we discuss academic issues and others. Thank you for joining.